Uh oh, Bob Saget. He entered our lives more than 30, 30 years ago. Jeez. Yeah. That's when he first starred as Danny Tanner on Full House. Now, well, now he's the starring director of a new dark comedy. It's called Benjamin. And Aunt Bob's character thinks his son is using drugs, so he plans an intervention. But it quickly becomes clear Benjamin may not be the only one with the problem. Faking it. Faking it? Yeah, are you faking it? No, I'm not faking it. I have diabetes. What? Since when do you have diabetes? I don't. Now you know what it feels like to be deceived by people that you thought you knew. I have diabetes, Ed. You know that. That's not a laughing matter. Wow. Really insensitive, no, Dad. Yeah. Okay, very funny, potheads. Really, really mature. You know what? You're all crazy. You know that? You're crazy. <laughs> That's how I react. Bob, good morning. Good morning. That's <laughs> Danny Tanner unhinged. Oh, it, clearly it is. Yeah, so this movie is about drug addiction, but it's also described as a dark comedy. Does, right. does approaching it in a dark comedic sense help to... I mean, advance a heavier topic? I, I always thought so. I always loved dark comedies. Uh, they meant a lot to me. It's a way to get a message across that brings kids in, because it's an R-rated movie, but it's not really. It's It really feels like 13-year-old and up should watch yeah. it with their parents yeah. and discuss it. And it's got a lot of comedy in it that's very strange. The, uh, a Facebook intervention is called by my girlfriend, played by Mary Lynn Rice Cub. Because that's and how the, you should do interventions. That's not how you write. <laughs> that's not how you do it. And then uh, uh, Rob Corddry is the gynecologist of the family. I don't think families have gynecologists, and <laughs> you know, for everyone. And he leads the intervention because he's my buddy. And it's got a great cast, get Kevin Pollack yeah. and, and Perry Gilpin. And, uh, it's a heck of a cast. Yeah, and and, and just, I, I love everybody. And Cherry O'Terry and Dave Foley. And let me name mm. them all. That'll take the whole segment. Yes. It, it, well, but it's also, at times, I, we don't want to give away too much, but, but people should stick, stick around for the ending especially. But it's, it, it feels at times like Arrested Development. It does have that kind of tone yeah. to it. Well, that's me loving that kind of humor. Yeah. And this script was written several years ago by Joshua Turek and then a producer, Nicholas Tabarrok, and they came after me. And same exact producer as the Aristocrats, and we're not in that time anymore. Um, and it's really a message of how do you communicate. And this is, you know, the first step is admitting everyone else has a problem, is our byline. And, and it's the very first uh, red box original, which is an unusual thing, because those are those orange... Yes, yeah, that's the one that was outside red, red box. <laughs> orange is that the box. one that's outside the, the grocery store? Right, so or, or still, inside a, a yeah. store that has... Folks can stream this one, they don't have to... This is the first original uh, red box that you can stream or download. Yeah. And you just get the red box app, which takes two seconds. And if you can hit the button. <laughs> and and, and it's, it's really, I'm very proud of it, and it opens uh, today is the first day. Well, we have you here. I do want to ask, you know, going back to your full house days, Lori Lachlan, as you know, former castmate of yours, uh, she pled not guilty recently to, to those conspiracy charges. Just your thoughts on the college admission scandal. Well, I've, I've been, uh, I think I'm underqualified, and uh, I've also, uh, well, um, we go by carrier pigeon. Um, <laughs> but I, I will say that I love her, and I will say that no comment. Okay. <laughs> and that's a, it's a personal thing. Sure. It's a personal We're thing. Because no, thank you. Because yeah. it's um, it's a strange time. And um, what do you say? Yeah. How about we end on a happier note? Yeah. Let's end on a really happy Tiffany note. Tiffany Haddish. I love Tiffany Haddish. This is this is a story that you know we watch the Oscars and you hear people give a speech and people go, I want to thank you know I, you can make it. You're a little kid in the projects. You can get there. I was teaching at this uh, comedy club in L.A. Uh, comedy camp, so we would have little kids come and do stand-up, 11-year-old doing stand-up, yeah. <laughs> who comes from the inner city, who has no money, parents drop them off, they got four hours to go. Tiffany Haddish was 15, 16, 17, and for three or four years, I was teaching comedy camp, so I would talk, t talk to all these little kids, and she was living in her car. Hmm. And she said, I want to be like Richard, Richard Pryor. Yeah. And I said, well, just don't do um, drugs, and you're going to be fine. And she wanted it so bad, and she came from such a place of love, mm -hmm. and and I, people perceive me as their dad until yeah. they watch my stand-up. <laughs> they, they perceive me, but that's us at Jeff oh Ross's house. Jeff had a party for being in show business 30 oh years. God, I can only imagine that party. I know, it was really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years, I think I blew my nose when I was in 30 years of show business. <laughs> but Tiffany Haddish is one of the funniest, most gifted, sweetest yes. people. Thank you, and to hold her, thank you so. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. I'm going to miss you the whole time. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. And by the way, you were on an episode of Al's Cold Cuts. Yes, yes. You that's can awesome. Check that you out. can check that out on today. Because I was a deli clerk at one time. <laughs> were you? True dad. Benjamin's well. <laughs> available at Redbox kiosks and Redbox on demand. We'll be right back.